Hello everyone. Welcome to Kaviation Engineering uh, YouTube channel. So uh, today I took uh, the second lesson of pressurization. So uh, if you still not subscribe my YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel and uh, please uh, hit the like button if you still uh, like this video and please watch this video until the end. And uh, if you missed the lesson one, please uh, check uh, my description or uh, check my uh, card in the up. Uh, you can see uh, my uh, the first lesson pressurization. All right. So no need to talk a lot. So let's go to the lesson. All right, so uh, this is 88 chapter 21, air conditioning system, under air conditioning system, pressurization, lesson two, system presentation. All right. Okay, so through this lesson, you will identify, locate, and describe the main components and functions of pressurization system. All right. Okay, so you can see this is the uh, pressurization system. Okay, you, here is the cabin pressure controller one, cabin pressure controller two, right? This is the FM, FMGS, flight management guardians computer, ADIRS means air data initial reference system, EIU, uh, LGCIU, and ECAM, CFDA. Okay, so this is the outflow valve and uh, this is the position in uh, indicator these are pot1 2 pot3 gearbox motor 1 right and motor 2 and this is the motor 3 all right so let's go to the first one cabin pressure control cabin pressure controller okay this is the cabin pressure controls there are two interchangeable controllers which are identified as cpc1 and cpc2 by means of pin program okay so this is the cpc1 and cpc2 and there are two uh, uh, cabin pressure controllers and these are interchangeable okay these are interchangeable so each controller has an automatic and manual part you remember see each controller has automatic and manual part okay cpc1 have automatic part manual part cpc2 have automatic part and manual part which are functionally and electric uh, electronically independent of each other remember it is uh, these are functionally and electronically independent of each other okay this is the cabin pressure controller uh, actual v all right okay so let's go to the next one here uh, see one controller operates the system at a time according to the flight profile data and aircraft configuration okay and the second controller okay second controller is active standby with automatic change over each flight or in case of failure of uh, failure of the active one okay so now you can see the uh, cpc cabin pressure controllers inputs are flight uh, profile data flight management guardian systems adirs cfts and the aircraft configurations eiu lgciu ecs and the cps outputs are for indicating and monitoring uh, they are using for the flight warnings computers sdap and ecs cfds and aids all right okay you can see uh, these lines okay okay so the next one uh here when manual mode is used okay when manual mode is used is going through the discrete signal right when manual mode is used the manual part of controller one operates uh, manual part of controller one operates only as a backup indication circuit processing outputs for indicating and monitoring right so the cpc1 manual start for monitoring and indicating flight warning computer and system data acquisitions concentrator and the cpc2 manual part is not used all right okay now let's go to the outflow valve well, this is the outflow valve right so in automatic mode the outflow valve is controlled by the operating controller remember in automatic mode okay in automatic mode the outflow valve is controlled by the operating controller right you can see this is the uh, actual view of outflow valve from inside okay so these are the controls and this is the outflow valve the outflow valve is of the double flap and motor driven type this this is double flap and motor driven type okay all right so see in automatic operation okay now uh, the the outflow value is in automatic operation right the automatic operation the outflow value is operated by an electrical motor one or motor two 
depending on the operating control right in automatic uh, Uh, in operate automatic operation the outflow valve is uh, operated by electrical motor 1 or 2 depending on the operating controller right depending on the operating controller so motor 1 is controlled by controller 1 remember motor 1 is controlled by uh, controller 1 controller 1 plus motor 1 correspond to the system 1 and the motor 2 is controlled by the controller 2 controller 2 plus motor 2 correspond to the system all right okay so now let's go to the uh, uh not q right the the uh, sorry this is two right two electronic actuators ensures the interface with the controller there are two electronic actuators over there so two electronic actuators ensures the interface with the controllers so a pressure switch which operates independently from the automatic operation is installed in each electronic actuator each each electronic actuator there is a, a pressure switch which operates independently from the automatic operation and it closes the applicable outflow valve in case of cabin altitudes above 15000 ft okay remember the pressure switch which close the applicable outflow valve in case of cabin altitudes above 15000 ft all right okay so now uh, yeah uh, the motor 3 here is the motor 3 is controlled from the cabin pressure panel right see the motor 3 is controlled by the cabin pressure panel by the manual vertical speed toggle switch this is the vertical speed toggle switch and the motor 3 is controlled by the cabin pressure panel by the manual vertical speed toggle switch here is the toggle switch when manual mode is selected on the mode selector push button okay first we have to select the mode selector push button mode selector push button and then it's uh, the motor 3 is uh, operating and this one is operating under the command of manual vertical speed uh, toggle switch All right so the manual motor is used in case of failure of system 1 and 2 so this one is used uh, only if cpc 1 or cpc 2 is in fail uh, faulty condition all right okay see the outflow valve position is uh, position monitoring is based on the triple potentiometer principle right so outflow valve position monitoring right outflow valve position monitoring is based on triple potentiometer principle there are three potentiometers okay this is uh, based on triple potentiometer principle sorry uh, the potentiometer 1 or 2 okay potentiometer 1 or 2 generates a feedback signal sent to the cpc 1 okay feedback signal get to cpc 1 or 2 cpc 1 or 2 through electronic actuator 1 or 2 it is used for indication and initialization purposes in automatic operation so potentiometer 3 generates a feedback signal potentiometer 3 generates a feedback signal sent straight to the cpc 1 manual backup part it is used for indication purposes in manual operations only all right okay so uh, yeah now let's go to the safety valves here is the safety valves in aircraft they have two safety valves you can see right so the safety valves prevents excessive positive and negative differential pressure in the fuselage and they are installed on the aft pressure bulkhead above the aircraft flotation line so the safety valves are copper type pneumatic valves they operate independently right safety valves are copper type pneumatic valves and they operates independently all right so yeah now let's go to the cabin pressure altitude envelope cabin pressure altitude envelope you can see this is the altitude and this is the time okay you can see this is the max normal cabin altitude 8000 ft and this is the cabin altitude warning 9550 ft and passenger signs warning 11300 ft and outflow valve closer 15000 ft and this is the aircraft altitude 39000 ft aircraft altitude okay these are the cabin altitude So the cabin pressure altitude is limited to 8000 ft with the differential pressure of 8.06 psi for an aircraft altitude of 39000 ft okay if the cabin altitude increases at 9550 ft the master warning sounds on okay if if uh, the cabin altitude increases to this uh, this limit 9550 ft uh, the master warning comes on at 11300 ft the passenger signs are activated so in the outflow valves a safety device closes the valves when the uh, the valves when the cabin altitude reach 15000 ft okay all right uh, 
yeah that is the end of uh, the lessons okay let's go to the question and answers okay the first question is which motor or motors e is are controlled from the cabin pressure panel the answers are a motor 3 b motor 2 and 1 c motor 1 so what should be the answer okay so the answer is answer a motor 3 okay all right so and the next one what is the maximum normal cabin altitude for maximum cruise level 39000 feet answers are answer a a cabin altitude of 8000 feet answer b a cabin altitude of 9550 feet and answer c a cabin altitude of 11300 feet so what should be the answer yeah the answer is a a cabin altitude of 8000 feet okay a cabin altitude of 8000 feet all right so this is the end of this lessons thank you for participating this lessons is very short lesson so the next lesson you will going to learn about pressurization system controls and indication so it is also will it, it also will be a, a important lesson for you so uh, if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe and uh, please share this uh, video with your friends families and anyone who like for aviation aircraft, especially for aircraft maintenance and uh, Uh, if you like this video uh, please hit a like button and if you have any questions or anything please comment below and then it will be uh, i can answer uh, as soon as i can and also uh, if you have any uh, idea or any knowledge so please uh, comment below and it will be useful for me all right so thank you for joining again for this lesson so see you on next lesson have a good day for all of you